Kill or be killed, huh? Sorry, but I'm not getting killed here. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot to set that crap. No! Me! Was I wrong? No, you weren't. You weren't. What is my power? The poison that Pharaoh talked about. Live. Live. I won't oh. hold back. That's the only way, right? Okay, we win, we win, we win. It's my fault. It kinda is, Estelle. Although granted you didn't you had no way of knowing that healing her would mess up all but at the same time she said no, don't do that before you even started casting. So yeah, you might want to put a little bit more points into perception. Might want to do that. Um, okay, so before we continue, a few things I want to talk about. Someone did ask me in comments what I thought about Estelle and the reaction with the Intellexia. Um, needless to say, it's very, very interesting. That, I don't know. I'll be honest, I don't know. The fact that human-type magic causes the Intellexia to turn bestial kind of does feed into what I was thinking before about the, like, spheres and the magic and the formula we're using are what causes the ma the monsters to want to attack us. I think that in the olden times, they were much more docile and much more 
even, but there's something about the magic where using that drives them crazy. Um, but that doesn't answer why Estelle specifically, her magic made Bellius go freaking nuts. So that's not the whole story. There's still there's more to it. And I don't know what that is. I don't know what the Child of the Full Moon is. Obviously, the Full Moon is an interesting descriptor and has something to do with the moon and is harkening back to old, like, werewolf um, mythology. But I, I, don't, I don't have enough information to really have a good guess beyond that. The other thing I want to talk about is... Um, this fight... There's, there, there's a lot of different, different amounts of help in this fight. And I'll be the first to admit, thank you. Um, the help was very, very helpful. But there were some people that were really, really, really good about giving spoiler-free help. And there were some people that weren't. So let me just sort of briefly discuss the difference. Um, first of all, someone in the episode before I got to Nordopolica was like, Hey, there's a fight coming up. You'll want to do this. Um, so... Yeah, that is very much a spoiler. Um, don't do that. You need to at least let me try the fight blind once before you go offering help. I get that that was a really big thing, and it would be almost impossible to beat Bellius without knowing that. But also, as you saw in the last episode... I figured it out pretty quick. The only thing I really didn't know was that Destruction Field could also be used to light them. I was trying to do it with just Fireball, and that didn't work. But they're like, hey, you have to relight the lights. That's bloody obvious! Come on, look at it! Um, someone else was kind of like, you know, after I lost the fight once, and again, thank you for letting me lose it once, but they were like, hey, yeah, um, to relight those torches, you can either use Fireball or Destruction Field, which is okay, but the best one, the absolute best non-spoiler help I got... Was someone, and I'm sorry, I, I don't have the thing up, I don't know who, I can't give credit where credit is due on this one, but someone was like, if you go into your skills menu, there's a little fire icon next to the skills that involve fire, which was perfect, because you saw from the video I already had figured out what to do, and you wanted to tell me what to do without telling me what to do, and that is absolutely beautiful, thank you. So, yeah, sorry for a quick aside, but that's, I, I want to give credit where good spoilers are, and bad credit where terrible spoilers were. So, let's keep going. The Ice Coffin. I'm not done yet. And didn't you just level up? I guess this is a boss. Oh, that's not surprising. So powerful. Ooh, that's nice. Well, that's funny. In, in the past, she's gotten that on the way here. Um, but, of course, I actually ran from fights because I was tired of getting here with, like, a less than optimal amount of health. Finish that one. Everybody levels up. So we'll, I assume she'll recover in time. It's over! Dutre, no! We didn't kill her. They're not killed her. What now? I never thought this would happen. I'm sorry. I... Worry not. You were thinking only of saving me. We didn't kill her, did we? If we did kill her, does that mean Nan's going to respect Carol now? Power corrupts, but you, you are different. Never lose that kindness, the compassion you so readily show to others. I like the background noise here. Um, someone in the comments, let me know what song this is. I kind, I like it. It's very, it, it's upbeat, um, sadness. Now, go to Pharaoh. If you would learn of your destiny. Oh, won't he kill me? To Pharaoh? That's... There is much I owe you. Do not harbor a grudge toward these people. Duce! No! Wait! No, I beg you, don't go! Well, I don't think he has a choice. Farewell. what was in the case from the ghost ship? Interesting. So, when they went out, did they actually have to kill an Intellexia in order to save a town? That would make so much more sense if the Intellexia are sort of like the sentient head of the animal kingdom, but in order to protect the very first towns, we had to kill them off? Anapathea! Convey my soul, this cyano seal, to my ally, Don Whitehorse. Wow, that's her soul? Holy crap, Estelle is going to have, like, 
PTSD for months. No wonder Pharaoh, you know, wants to kill Estelle so much if she Estelle can kill him in basically a spell. Or that's that's the question. Did did Pharaoh die because we beat the snot out of her? Because I have to feel like we were not going for the kill. We just beat her into submission. So would she have died eventually anyway after her tantrum was over? So, this must have been what Harry meant. Humans, we'll be taking that stone. Oh fuck you. Is this what you guys were after? Hope you don't think we'll just let it go. Then, we'll just have to pound on you until you do. That's enough! Everyone throw down your weapons! Damn, look who's here. You! Take anyone still standing in the Coliseum into custody. Um, I'm not a knight. You can't order me around. Oh, those guys. Okay, <laughs> you! up in chains if we don't blow this scene but we haven't done anything to warrant being arrested yeah but this is the empire other than flynn's company which granted sony is in flynn's company that's the flynn's company is totally becoming more and more corrupt unfortunately i don't think they'd have any trouble cooking up a reason to put us behind bars you're right escape is our best option okay we're getting out of here for now no i i don't want to go anywhere Princess, I'm sorry, but right now what you want doesn't matter. My power... It really is a poison. I, I thought I could help her, but... I only brought about her death. I couldn't save her. Okay, no, you can't... You can't beat Estelle into submission, Yuri. W what are you doing? There. You saved me, didn't you? What? Uh... But I... Let's move. Okay. That's a really good way of getting your point across, actually. Wait! What do we look like, a waiter? Raven. Bellius, how could something like this happen? There was still so much we needed to ask. Yeah. Think of all the knowledge that only an Entelakea would have. Not to mention her perspective as the Duce of Palestrale. Why couldn't we have met her sooner? Yuri. That does... It's an interesting coincidence that, um... The night we can meet Bellius is the same night that anyone could have met Bellius. I mean, more, more, more specifically, the night that they chose to attack Bellius was the night that Bellius is receptive to people coming to her. about you. This place is swarming with knights. We've no choice but to go through the harbor then. But what if the harbor's blockaded too? Like it was previously? Huh. Well, the weasel of Canis is definitely blocked off. If we have to get out of here, I'd say breaking through the harbor's our best bet. Uh, escaping by sea might be better. Yeah! Exactly. Hey, uh, where's the old man? You don't need to worry about him. He'll turn up soon enough. Alright, he's the sort of guy that shows up as soon as you start feeling relieved he's gone. Oh wait, that's Judith. Whoops. Lady Estelle, you must return to with us. Captain Flynn's worried about you. But, but I... Estelle's not going back with you! Alright, through the harbor before these guys get into a card battle or something. I'm surprised the knights didn't try and stop me. What are you doing now? Like, can I talk to the knights? I just want to start room, so then it doesn't. Oh. Okay, I was like, why are the knights just standing there? Oh, 
Oh, Flynn. hi. Looks like we can't put one over on this guy. Are you still wearing? I'm really not in any condition to fight with you, Flynn. Return Lady Estelise and the stone. Flynn, what do you want with the Apatheia? So the knights are trying to get a hold of this thing too. That's why the hunting blades were here. Hand it over. Wow, he's not blessing around at all. Whoa, is he serious? Just what the hell are you doing? Using the military to get control of the city? That's taking things a bit far. Maybe you're carrying out your duty. But you can't just go around doing everything by force. Captain, awaiting orders. I thought you were with the Knights to change things like that. I don't know why I'm the one who has to be saying this stuff. You know it full well yourself. And this is this is beautiful, because this is exactly where Flynn starts to have to deal and wrestle with the fact that Yuri's methods are actually more successful than his own, despite how terrible they are. Cat got your tongue? I mean, how's this any different from what I've come to expect from the Empire? Are you gonna follow Rago and Kumar's examples? If I did, would you just kill me as well? Would you do away with me like you did Rago and Kumar? Hey, um, I don't know what you're talking about about Rago. That had nothing to do with me. <coughs> huh? What is he? If you go and become a villain, you won't be giving me much choice. You mind saving this charming little squabble for another time? We're sort of in a hurry, right? <laughs> Come on! Captain! Poor Flynn. I mean, that that must be. He. What was Flynn saying about Yuri and Rago? Well, you don't even talk about me in third person, but that is. It's Flynn's character is really interesting in this because he's trying to do what he can the correct way, but he's in a system that does not allow there to be reasonable options. Save it! You men, raise the anchor! Yeah, man, raise the anchor! <laughs> yep, there he shows up again. Raven, where did you come from? Don't suppose it'd be too much trouble to take one more with us. Hey, that's the guy! I was only expecting to say that Harry joined the party. Blockade. How are we going to get through this one? It looks like we can go around. There's only five ships there. Or they just not render more. Well, what was that? What's happening? Judy? Where's this power coming from? Is it the Saris Blastia? Yeah! We broke through! What's the deal with this formula? I've never seen anything like it. What? What are you doing? No! Stop! Why would you... This is the path I have chosen. Oh dear. You're the dragon freak! I knew this was coming eventually. Judy, wait! Goodbye. Why the hell don't you just talk about why you're doing that? I mean, this is one of the things, I mean, after I just got finished praising this game, this is one of the things that pisses me off about it. There are so many things that could be resolved if they would just be adults and discuss things, but they intentionally avoid having those discussions in order to play out the plot, and I hate that. I'm like, tension should come from actual conflict, not just the characters conveniently having misunderstandings. Our genius mage has given the Ceres Blastia her undivided attention. Sounds like the core on the new Blastia is pretty much totaled. I just finished replacing the Ceres Blastia with a new model. I'd planned to do it ever since we ran into the ghost ship, just to make sure. So luckily we still had the old Blastia around. Either way, looks like we'll be drifting out here for now. Oh geez, another drifty section? Looks that way. What are Carol and Estelle up to? They're a bit down in the dumps. Are we like a general now? Getting an update on our troops? 
You'd probably be better at cheering them up, old man. You know I'm not cut out for that stuff. Guess I've had a hand in dampening the mood around here, too. Might as well see how they're doing. I knew Judy's secret would get out someday, but not like this. A little heads up would have been nice. I don't know what to think about anything anymore. I still- why didn't you ever ask her why she was doing that? Now that's curious. It's open, but we don't want to go in there. Why would they not let, not me just go in there and there would be nothing there? There's something that's going to happen with that, for sure. <laughs> there you are, boy. You sure have your own way of doing things, old man. Then again, I guess you're only it's only your I guess it's your only redeeming quality. Hey, what are a man's feelings? I've got a ton of redeeming qualities. And that's one list you can just keep to yourself. I have to tell you, I'm still surprised to find out Bellius is the beast. Uh, sorry, I mean Intellexia, was it? Yeah. But it seems like the story about our engineering the Great War was a lie. Probably just an excuse the Empire made for them to invade Nordopolica. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. So, is that the Don's grandson? How do you unpick her anyway? Well, you know the answer to that, Yuri. He came with the hunting blades in order to get um, the not CL crystal, the the new crystal we just got. This idiot got fed false information by the Leviathan's claw and acted without thinking. I I heard that an ally of the Dons had been captured by a monster, and I thought I'd come save him. And then I heard the monster possessed Apatheia, so they said the bellies had been captured. Apparently, that's what Leviathan's claw said. So they went down there with the hunting blades to kill the monster. <laughs> and that monster was actually Bellius. So even though you got the Abathea, the ally you were supposed to be saving ended up dying. Yeah. You need to learn to take things slower. Check your information before you rush out all ready for battle. Friggin' Leviathan's Claw. Although... See, that's the thing. Because of the five top guilds... um. The Blood Alliance is basically defunct. We defeated their leader. Um, Leviathan's Claw is still around, thanks to our good friend... Um, oh, I forget his name. Jaeger. Um, but Ruin's Gate has been outed as not being a real guild, and as soon as we talk to Don Whitehorse, it can theoretically be closed. So we're down to three top guilds, and two of them are at least allies, because Don Whitehorse and um, the Merchant Guild are kind of you know, on our side, or at the very least have worked with us several times in the past. Damn, why the hell do you, what the hell do you know? Things like this happen, I guess. Having the Don for a grandfather puts a lot of pressure on the boy. Anyone with a grandfather like that would be expected to work their butt off, yeah. Everyone expects too much of him, so he works hard not to let anyone down. And then things like this happen. Palestrade's not going to be too happy about this. I don't know, it's Palestral, not Palestrade. I always say Palestrade, I don't know why. I swear, it's like I'll read the first few letters of a new word and then decide what it is from there. Even if he didn't have a choice to fight, I doubt they'd take that for an excuse. That Nats guy should forgive us, I think. That'd be nice, but Nats isn't the Duce, so others in the guild will have to worry, it's others in the guild will have to worry about. Well, I don't know how to get out of this mess. For now, I'm going to take him to see the Dawn. Take the ship to Dangrest as soon as it's working again, would you? <laughs> sure thing. I actually do know how to get out of this, but... An eye for an eye. It's a matter between guilds, after all. I was okay with taking out bad people on my own. I couldn't tell the others. Not before with Estelle, and not now. I gotta face up to the choices I've made. It's been weighing on Carol, too. Who knows what'll happen to Brave Vesperia. How's it been weighing on Carol? Carol didn't know anything until now. Or do you mean, like, just in the last few minutes? I guess I can't walk up there. I just have to talk to her from here. Does it look like it'll be okay? Oh, well, it is pretty bad. <laughs> this isn't usable at all. Damn it! I can't believe that Judith was... And all the time she was with us, she didn't destroy any Blastia at all. Why was she with us in the first place? That dragon... Baul, right? It attacked us back in Heliord, didn't it? 
you got a good memory. That's not the sort of thing I easily forget. Do you think they were going after Estelle back then? Yeah, she knew. She knew about Estelle. You didn't already know that she was that dragon freak, did you? Yeah, I did. Damn it! I can't believe you! We all have our reasons for what we've done. You and Judith, bo you and Judith both. Y you mean... Me too, of course. You mean Ragu and Kumor? <laughs> I don't care much about how it happened to them. Judy was a loyal member of our party. That's how it looked to me, at least. Yeah, that's true, but... If she had just shared what she knew about the Child of the Full Moon and about the Intellexia, Estelle's problem must have already been solved by now. Exactly! This, that right there is what pisses me off. <laughs> well, that depends, doesn't it? Pharaoh told her she was poisoned, after all. You know, it's possible she knew where Pharaoh was from the very beginning. Yeah, maybe. Either way, I'll never forgive her for breaking that blast here. Well, Judy comes back. You can feel free to beat her up. She's not coming back. I couldn't say. I think she will eventually be back. She is too developed a character to not come back. Although, I don't know, I, I kept expecting Richard to come back through the entirety of Tales of Graces because he had a very well-developed character. <laughs> so many things to deal with. I'm a little mixed up. <laughs> Sorry for dragging you around, Rapide. Right. There's nothing else to be sorry about after all these years. <laughs> Alright, so what should we start with? Before anything else, we'll need to have the ship moving. And Estelle! Did she go blind and I missed it? Can you see anything? don't see anything at all. After what happened to Bellius, and with Judith breaking our blasty and running away, I just don't know what to think anymore. So, are you asking, like, literally being able to see things, or is this just like, when you look at the future, what do you see? Oh, uh, yeah? And then you went and cut your arm like that. <laughs> that was painful. It's not funny! But you healed me. I couldn't just ignore you, could I? I can't just ignore someone who's injured in front of me. So, then what are y'all rattled about? Don't you remember? Bellius said to take good care of your kind nature. My power's the reason that the Intellexia hate me, isn't it? What, with you being able to use magic without Blastia? Even if I make an effort not to use my power in the Intellexia, to them I'll still be evil. That's why Pharaoh was trying to kill me. Yeah, but you, you can't go through your whole life wanting everyone to like you. Belia said you tried to meet Pharaoh, didn't she? Yeah, in order to discover my destiny. But I wonder, is that really right there, Brave Vesuria? No, that can't be. I'm the one who will decide my destiny. I'm amazed that no other guild ever took up the mantle of Brave Vesuria if it's really that freaking bright. Holy crap! <laughs> now you got the idea. Yuri! What's the matter? You look more serious than usual. Yeah, I was just thinking about how hard it is to put a guild together. I thought things might be okay since I was with you guys, but... Have you lost faith in your ability to lead the guild? N not at all. I'm working as hard as I can. Alright, well then I'll borrow from your attitude and do the best I can too. Hey, uh, can I ask you something? Yeah? Is it true that, that you killed Ragu and Kumor? Ragao? That's true. How could you keep that from me? I kept meaning to tell you. I'm sorry. Even though I think it's bad, you don't regret killing them, do you? Yeah, I don't. I mean, no, I don't. Yeah, I don't. Since a very mixed message. I just don't know. Flynn and Estelle were trying to bring them to justice, too. Did you really have to kill them? I think there are some things you have to do, even if they're a crime. Someone has to do them, even if it means taking the blame. Maybe so, but still. I just did what had to be done. You shouldn't force yourself to try and accept what I did. Yeah. 
That's a little bit heartless. That's like, yep, um, I did what I felt like had to be done. Um, not really sorry about it, but hey, you didn't do it. Well, I finished making adjustments to the Blastia. That's awesome. Great. We'll be able to use the boat again. If you don't mind, I'd like to bring Harry back to Dongris first. We need to head to Dongris too. Right. We've got to deliver Bellius's Apatheia. Yep. We don't want to be holding that thing if both the Hunter's Guild and the Empire are trying to get it from us. We couldn't ask that of you. Oh, that hurts. Still can't trust me after all we've been through, huh? Well, you, you are the party member that ditches us the most often. It wasn't a formal request, but I feel we should honor Bellius's dying wish. It would be unjust if we didn't deliver it. Yeah. Besides, we're also at fault for Bellius ending up like she did. We've got to own up to what we've done. The Don also might know why everyone wants these Apatheas so badly. He was trying to get his hands on one too, don't forget. That's true. So, basically, the only person in the entire game that's not trying to get Apatheia is Duke, and he's actively trying to destroy them. If we can learn more about the Apatheia, we might find out why Flynn's been using such extreme measures. Well, then, I'll make sure to set things up with the Don for you. Really? A wiser man than I once said, even chance acquaintances are decreed by destiny. Yeah, but there's a lot of wiser men than you, Raven. <laughs> if it's meant to be, I don't mind putting in the effort for brave Vesperia. I'm going to meet with the Don, too. You too, Rita? A lot has happened, and I get the feeling it's all connected to this Apatheia somehow. So... It was the Don that told us to go find the Apatheia in the first place. He just might have something up his sleeve. So, Rita, you're with us as far as Dongrist? That only leaves Estelle. I think she needs some time alone. I agree. I wonder when we'll see Judith again. Hey, once we've delivered the Apatheia, let's go see if we can find her. Um, she's on a flying dragon. That's a pretty big statement. That's not a bad idea. Besides, she broke the guild laws. And you know we can't just let that slide. Right. At least not without hearing her reason. But first up is Dongrist. There'll be a stretch of beach along the southern edge of Tolbikia where we can lay anchor. I'd wager that'd put us as close to Dongrist as we could hope. Okay, sounds like we've got our destination. Okay, we'll go ahead and save here. No, we won't. I thought we could say. So it's going to be on the southern end of Tolbikia. Um, can I get a slightly better map? Is this Tolbikia that I'm, like, dead south of? I do see a beach. I mean, not this beach. This beach is... Yeah, this is Tolbithia. There's the two harbors. Here's a beach. Now we can save. Okay. I will see you all next time when we go to Dongris, meet with Don Whitehorse, and turn in the Apatheia and see what we can find out about the Apatheia. Because there are things to know. Very important things. See you next time, guys.